the inspiration here comes from the from the shoreline of all the things we picked. We have the beach peas, the beach cabbage, the beach onions. We pick seaweeds. We put beach uh, rocks into uh, the pot. We even brought some sea uh, sea water that we're going to use as a steaming component. I pour a touch in the bottom. I have an oyster, which I will sprinkle with a touch of grated horseradish. Then I sprinkle some capers of elderberries. I open my, uh, my beach onion here, the wild onion, and I simply just take some of the small seeds and just sprinkle them all over. We take the beach cabbage and just put small pieces on it. Then I take some of the beach flowers and I sprinkle all over. And the dish is, uh, is, um, is more or less ready to be, to be finalized. We close it up again, and then we add the oyster to the pot where we have all the seaweeds and sea plants, shells, the sea water and the sea rocks, and we close it up. Then we're gonna steam it for four minutes. I like the fact that the pot is hot. The guest almost burns themselves a little bit when they lift it. And when they lift it up, of course, all the steam is completely compressed into the pot and it just releases all these aromas of sea and all these plants from the sea. It enhances the flavor of the oyster. Ah, oh, I can smell the sea now. You can see the oyster, it's perfect as it is. It's just in between um, cooked and raw. At that point where, where the beauty is in the oyster.